Check out the Comic Outlaw on YouTube. Yeah. And I'm Jack Slater, the man with the plan. And I run this show. And we're doing She-Hulk, the savage She-Hulk, number seven, Swamp Demons. Oh, yeah. We're about to get down and dirty in the swamp, y'all. Mm, with the savage She-Hulk. And we're getting ready to rock and roll. And uh, we're going to be starting off a little different. Usually it starts off with Jennifer. But we're uh, starting off with this little guy right here. And apparently, I haven't read too much of this issue, but on the, the man's issue, but he, apparently he's a sidekick to a very different, very odd, very funky looking creature, which we will find out about later. But this guy, he has the Midas touch. Yes, he's winning anything and everything. And of course, the big thing about the casino is they want you to stay there so you can eventually lose your money. That's what that saying, the house always wins come from. So they give him a free place, a free girl. And they're doing everything they can in order to get him to spend money. But he just keeps hitting jackpot after jackpot. And he eventually breaks this guy down, you know. And they have to recoup the money, otherwise this guy's just going to be completely broke. So they're cruising around in a Bentley or some other fancy car, you know. And there goes She-Hulk, being pursued by the police. And that look in her eyes, you know, as she's running away, so fine, I might add. Reminds him of another creature called Man-Thing. And I haven't read too much on him, but he's sort of the DC version of Swamp Thing, except he has a few other abilities, and he's more savage. Of course, she throws a truck up in front of them in order to kind of get them to stop pursuing her. You know, She-Hulk is trying to avoid them unlike her cousin who would just smash his way on through um, she hawk has capacity to think she just has no capacity to control when she shifts or when she changes but this guy of course leads them away um, she pops out of the alley you know wearing the same thing that she hawk was and whoo yes sir anyways they introduce themselves you know they have a moment they talk and they kind of bond together <laughs> some of the dirt spills all over everything and you know they kind of make plans to have a moment to talk but as always there's always something going on but anyways they meet up they talk they um, they have like a little date and he goes on to explain that he you know kind of wasn't an unremarkable kid you know he was dropped and he you know, he had a very bad run of life until he met this creature called Man-Thing and it kind of brought him out of his shell. He's sort of the plucky sidekick, I guess you could say, his translator. But things went from bad to worse. He ended up going to jail. He ended up coming out. He flew over here. He's had a lucky streak lately. And he's just trying to make the most of his life. And they seem to have a bond. They share a little kiss. And then all of a sudden, as things tend to do in comic books, they go awry. Now, it's interesting that he has this bond with both Man-Thing and She-Hulk. Like, he understands what it is to be an outsider, to be alone. But as they're having their conversation, you know, they, they begin to piece certain things together. There's something going on in the swamps. Something bad. <laughs> And of course, Jennifer is always investigating something or always up to something. And they end up in a lab of some kind. And it's interesting because this guy's real sort of self-righteous. And, you know, he likes to stand up to people. You know, he likes doing what he does. But anyways, they end up getting attacked by a... Um, alligator you know she turns into she-hulk and of course someone else finds out her secret and she throws that thing right across and they're realizing this may have been a setup this may you know he's starting to point fingers at people and of course out of nowhere out of this weird swamp that they've been investigating these weird ugly looking red swamp creatures pop out of nowhere and this kind of confirms their suspicions that there has been experiments here, that there is something going on, that laboratory is there for a reason. And of course, She-Hulk is going to town on them, and they pop off this little vial and gas her. And um, She-Hulk just passes out. I guess they got the right mix, they got lucky, and She-Hulk's out for the count. 
Now, this other guy is trying to get more information on what's going on, the area, you know, what mysterious happenings are. But they take She-Hulk's body and they lock her into a chamber, hoping to find a way to steal her powers and make themselves strong. But what will happen, we'll find out next time. And definitely, definitely catch you on the flip side. Laters.